Hey there, everybody. Welcome to another one of our awesome tech videos. I am Paige Libert. I'm one of the consumer technology specialists here at Midcontinent Public Library. And today we're going to do adulting like a boss, um, <laughs> which is just kind of a goofy thing I came up with, made up. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to be talking about some like working on your cooking skills, just because I know there's a lot of people in their 20s, 30s, 40s, what have you that maybe wish their cooking skills were a little bit stronger than, you know, the solid pack of ramen noodles. So we're going to go into some some tips and tricks and places to find information to kind of help you boost those cooking skills. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a kitchen um, or at least a space in which to do your cooking. So generally you're going to need some kind of standard appliances, a stove, an oven, a fridge. You're going to need some smaller appliances. Maybe it's up to you. Uh, like a toaster, a microwave. I know a lot of people now have crock pots, air fryers, um, pressure cookers, all kinds of stuff out there. And then of course you're going to need some cooking tools. So that's going to be your bowls, pots and pans, baking sheets, spatulas and mixing spoons. And then I mean, eventually you'll probably need something to eat your stuff out of, but I didn't put that one on there. Um, you will need a computer or a mobile device probably because everything that I'm showing you today is based either in a browser or has an app or something along those lines. So to access those recipes and those videos and those cooking tips and tricks, you will eventually need a computer or a mobile device, which you will also likely need an internet connection, which I also didn't throw on this list. Uh, and that internet connection can be wired, wireless, uh, mobile data, whatever you have. You can use the internet here at our library branches, either in the branch or out in the parking lot. And then to access any of the library resources that we're showing you today um, and possibly to get internet, you will need your M MCPL access pass and pen and then which is just your library card number and then your eight digit birthday. And then you're going to need just a general desire to want to learn. Like learning how to cook is, it's a thing. <laughs> um, it's not something you can just do every now and then and expect to be amazing at it. You have to actually keep going and keep trying. Uh, most people are not, you know, cooking savants on the first try. So know that you're going to make some mistakes, be ready to literally break some eggs and, you know, just have fun with it. If you make a mess, cool. It's fun. Clean it up, but have some fun with it. And so with that, we're going to go hop into all of the awesome recipes. All right, so here we are on the main MCPL homepage, webpage, website, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully this is familiar to many, if not all of you, but we are starting from here to look at several of our library resources. And to get started, I'm going to go into the research and learning tab. Now, most of what I'm going to show you today is easily found in the A to Z list or tucked into several of the browse subjects. subjects. Uh, I'm actually going to start in the online learning tab, though, because that's kind of where I go to get all of my educational things. So my first stop is Universal Class. Get myself in here. So it's going to just ask me to enter my library card number. This is just to verify that I am, in fact, a library card holder. If you are accessing our resources from home, uh, more than likely this is a page that you're going to go and see. I'm already typed in, so I'm just going to click Submit and it pops me right in. Now with Universal Class you do have to create your own little account which I have already done and then poof I'm in. So Universal Class has several cooking classes. I actually took kind of took three of their kind of cooking and baking classes early in the pandemic so I could write some cool blogs because you know cooking and baking was kind of a thing at the beginning of the pandemic and I wanted to jump on that bandwagon as hard as I could. So I kind of took these really fairly quickly. Now with Universal Class all the classes are self-paced. You have no time limit. You just go through at your own pace. You do your thing uh, whenever you have time. So you can take minutes or months. <laughs> it's entirely up to you and there's a few different ways that you can do it. You can just kind of skip through, which is kind of what I did. I, I hopped through, I found all the pertinent information that I wanted, uh, found the recipes and things that I wanted and went that way. But there, like you can actually earn continuing education credits doing this. You can get certificates for completion. So you can do all kinds of things, but you do actually have to go through the course with some meaning and like putting forth a good amount of effort. So doing the assignments, 
uh, reading all the lecture, reading and watching lecture stuff, and doing the tests and quizzes throughout. So to get those credits and completion certificates. Uh, if you're just going through to get some tips and tricks, though, that's also fine. It's an option. Uh, the one that I really, really want to point out is the Cooking and Baking 101. Now, this one has a lot of really good information about different kitchen tools, so you actually get to learn the difference between some of the different tools and pots and pans and things and why you might use them. And then the recipes aren't just like, all right, we're going to go and make foie gras. It's like, here's how to saute some broccoli. It, it starts out pretty easy and not trying to make you do some crazy cool stuff right at the very beginning. It, it's just kind of chill, walks you through the steps very well, and gives you some interesting and yummy recipes right out of the bat. Now, if you want to, you can click on Browse Courses, and I'm just going to search for cooking. As you can see, I've done it before. So the three that I took are not the only ones. As you can see, there are others, and there's probably about 10 actual, 10 or 12 actual cooking or cooking related classes. And then there's some other ones like bartending and aromatherapy, catering and waitressing. So things that are related, but not necessarily cooking. Um, but there's quite a few in here for you to choose from. This is a great place to go. All right, next thing that I'm going to do, actually I'm gonna scroll down. I think it is not on here. So I am going to go into my A to Z list and I'm actually just going to scroll because the next one I want is A. So it's Access Video On Demand. Now this is one of our awesome, awesome, awesome video-based resources. And they have a ton of stuff in here. So you can see there are 42,000 titles and counting. Uh, they add more stuff frequently. But if I just come in here and search cooking and give it a second to think, you're going to find tons of stuff. Now, you can start to do all, like you can start to narrow the subjects, you can add some filters, um, you can change out your search to be something more specific if you want to, but cooking gets you uh, 2,400 results, which is really good. And this is all going to be videos that you can watch. Um, there's going to be some transcripts, but you can see right here, cooking 101, microwave cooking, scrolling down, scrolling down, vegetable cooking techniques, low fat cooking. Stefano's Cooking Paradiso. Uh, so you have all kinds of options in here. And some of them are going to be from real live shows that did air. Uh, other times it's going to be stuff that was developed just for access video on demand. But there are lots of great videos in here. And again, it's videos. So you can follow along with the video if you want to. There are going to be transcripts for most of these. So you can kind of go through if, if maybe you don't learn so well by video and like audio visual, maybe you learn better with reading, uh, you have that option as well. But there are tons of videos in here. They're a great resource um, and it's for all levels. So you're literally going to start out with, you know, here's a knife. What does this particular knife do? You can find that out all the way up to cooking really elaborate French dishes. So it's awesome. My next stop on all the library stuff, I'm actually going to go to Books, Movies, Music. Now, I can tell you already, we do have some physical books. I mean, we have tons of cookbooks, and there are cookbooks that start quite literally with the very beginnings of boiling an egg, boiling water. What does this particular piece of cutlery do? You have those options in there. So if you want a physical book, we have those. If you're good with digital, so I clicked on Go Digital. We have OverDrive, which I'm just going to load in over here. OverDrive and Libby. Uh, great, 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 great resources. Um, we'll just do Cooking Basics. And then there you go. So you have the Idiot's Guide to Cooking Basics. Uh, back to the Basics, cooking, all kinds of stuff in here. So easy. So how to cook everything, the basics. That might be a great ebook e for you to look up. A uh, nice thing with this is that you can totally have it open on like an iPad or a phone propped up in your kitchen as you're going. You don't have to worry about splattering all over a page or something if you're trying to cut a tomato or something along those lines. Uh, so 
we have tons and tons of ebooks. You can see that this one's on a wait list, but the one next to it, Cooking School, is available. So you can jump between books and all sorts of stuff that way. And then the nice thing with Overdrive is that you have Libby, and so you can throw it on an app. You don't even have to be in a web browser. Lots of options there. And then my last stop on all of our library resources is to come down here and go to the e-magazines and news. And there's two of them here. There's Flipster and Press Reader. And these are both magazines and newspapers. So Flipster is magazines, Press Reader does newspapers and magazines. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open them both. So Flipster is, like I said, it's magazines. And you can see right here already, there's food and wine. Uh, and over here in the categories, there is a food and cooking category. Now the magazines are probably going to be a little bit on the higher end. So once you've had some practice and you're just looking for some cool recipes, tips, and tricks, these two magazines may be the spot for you. We've got food and wine, we've got cooking light in Flipster. So we can just go in here. I just clicked on the title and it's gonna think for a while. Come on load in <laughs> and here we go so we're just straight into the magazine we can click through like that find all of our recipes somebody's making snails not my thing um, but you can kind of go through there you can learn all about these famous chefs about these meals that they've made restaurants um, and then find all the recipes and cool things that way and then in press reader We've got tons as well. So we go to the catalog here. Maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna scroll down. So you can see there's the newspapers and here's the magazines and immediately there's good food. There's my categories, this is what I was trying to get to. Uh, and then there's food and drinks. And we have a ton in this particular resource. And it's going to be all levels again, though because it is magazines, it's going to be maybe not the lowest of levels, but there are going to be a lot of really good, helpful things in any number of these particular magazines. Um, so really encourage you to come and check these out, especially once you've kind of gotten the hang of some things um, and just find some really cool new recipes to try out. All right, so moving on to our just general websites, we've got first up YouTube. Um, hopefully most of you guys have heard of YouTube. Maybe you probably played with it quite a bit. You can find basically everything here. Um, <laughs> there's tons and tons of stuff in here for you to choose from. So I'm just going to do, you can see I already searched cooking for basic, cooking basics for beginners. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring that up. Now I will tell you, sometimes you'll get these ads that pop up. It just happens. Ignore those. Um, scroll on down and you will find the Cooking Basics videos and there's tons of them. Some of them are going to be by famous chefs or helped out with famous chefs. You can see there's Gordon Ramsay right at the very top. Um, there's a thing from Cuisinart, so they're the guys who make like all the kitchen appliances. You're going to find stuff like this, which is the Home Cook Basics. So these are going to be channels that are either devoted to learning how to cook or they have series that are going to be about that sort of thing and you're gonna find all kinds of stuff. You can do a search like I did for cooking basics for beginners, but you can also do searches for the specific thing that you wanna do. So if you wanna learn how to make like the most excellent mashed potatoes, you could just search for how to make mashed potatoes and you're gonna find a video that's gonna walk you through it, probably 2000 of them. So you have lots of options out there. You're gonna find all kinds of things and you will find that maybe some people's style of cooking is not your thing, so you can go and find multiple other videos on the same things. So if you want to learn how to cut an onion, a lot of people have different ways of cutting onions. So you can find those different videos and maybe find what works for you. Uh, whatever's going to make you cry the least, uh, at least with an onion. <laughs> so you can do those sorts of things here. Now, next up is Pinterest. Um, Pinterest is fabulous. You're going to find all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I will get, do that other search. You can see I did cooking for beginners already once. And this, like, you can do that search. You can also just do cooking. You can look again for those specific things like, you know, how to make mashed potatoes. Uh, you, you will find all kinds of stuff. Now, Pinterest doesn't have a lot of its own content. 
so keep in mind that 99% of this is going to be shooting you elsewhere uh, to find recipes, tips, tricks, and that sort of thing. But it's a very good space to go to find some things that maybe I don't mention here, because while I am bringing up a ton of stuff, there's still exponentially more uh, that I haven't talked about. So this is a great place to go to find subdue things, and you can see right there, how to learn to cook for beginners. Boom, right there. Uh, there's also other social media. So Pinterest is what I chose to highlight, but you can find all kinds of stuff. So on Facebook, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, you may find some of those famous chefs. I know that actually Gordon Ramsay is one of them. He has done quick little cooking classes and videos using like Facebook Live or just posted them on his Twitter. Um, I know Alton Brown does a thing with his wife. Um, they do the, they just cook a dinner <laughs> on live and you can watch them do it and kind of learn the steps that they go through to do it. There's all kinds of stuff like that out there. And then of course there's TikTok and there's just tons. Uh, if you end up on what I'm just going to go ahead and call foodie talk or something along those lines, uh, you can find recipes for all kinds of things. And then a lot of times it's going to be stuff that's going viral or will eventually, uh, but it's a good place to go to find tips, tricks, and new recipes. All right, next stop is New York Times cooking. So it starts out largely with a lot of really fancy sounding recipes, um, things that intimidate me a little bit, but uh, I promise you they're not as scary as they sound. And if you scroll down pretty much to the bottom, you will find here, Master the Basics. So this is going to walk you through a lot more of the kind of more generic basic basics. So you're not gonna be up there making the kefta, you're gonna be learning how to make a bagel or how to cook some salmon so that it's not, you know, gross. So <laughs> you have all those kinds of options. You can scroll through over here on the little arrow or you can do the see the cooking guides, which will take you through all the steps to do a bunch of more basic items. And then another news channel, we're gonna go over to BBC. So this is BBC Food. I just searched for BBC Food. Uh, through here, you're going to find all kinds of recipes, stories, blogs, and that sort of thing dealing with cooking or food in general. But if you scroll, or not scroll, if you move your mouse over here to techniques, uh, you're going to find tons of these kind of bloggy posts. Some have videos, some don't, uh, to teach you how to <clears throat> do a lot of cooking basics. So some of it's going to be, well, there you go, how to, I just thought, how to make mashed potato. Uh, but then there's knife skills, how to prepare vegetables fast. You have all kinds of stuff like that. So you're not just doing the absolute, like, how to hold a knife that's in here. But then you can also learn how to boil an egg, how to brown meat, all kinds of stuff like that. So super, super helpful and free, which is always nice. All right, this stop is from Texas A&M. This is part of their AgriLife Extension program. This is called Dinner Tonight, and so they... They actually do have a cooking school where you can go and pay money and they will feed you, which is cool. But then they also have this healthy cooking tip section with a nice and very solid how-to area, which is going to do kind of like what you had with the BBC, uh, all kinds of stuff in here to walk you through how to do certain things, how to make certain things, why you would do certain things. Um, you can learn a lot about pineapple and how to prepare it, hopefully how to cut it. Um, I'm terrible at cutting pineapples. Um, so you have all those kind of options in here. So there's a lot of really cool and useful stuff there. All right, this one is called Open Culture. This is where you can go again to find a lot of those, they're called Massive Online Open Courses or MOOCs, M-O-O-C. Um, these are actually courses that are being taught or offered through major universities. So if I scroll down here, you can see this one's coming from the University of Reading, 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 uh, Stanford, Harvard, University of Arizona, uh, the University of Rome. So you, all kinds of really useful stuff. I think I would probably be okay taking a class on ancient Rome from a university based out of Rome. Seems like they might know. Uh, so if I click over here on this all 1500 courses, that's going to bring up all of the courses that they have for free. These are free to take. Uh, I'm going to scroll for a bit, so pardon me on the scrolling. Makes you dizzy look down for a second. And we're almost there. 
There it is. All right, so there's food courses. You can actually click on this and bring up its own page, but we'll just work with what's here. So you can see that there's, what, about 8, 9, 10, something along those lines, uh, food MOOCs that you can go take. They are related, so they aren't all going to be beginner classes, but you can see they do have Edible Education 101 through two different school or two different programs uh, offered at two different times and then there's 103 so you can kind of work your way up and then you have what would essentially be electives after that uh, so you have lots and lots of options in here now with these classes they work a little differently um, some of them are going to work like go courses where you have a assigned time to start the class and you have assigned time to finish the course but a lot of times in between is just sort of up in the air you'll have times when you have assignments that are due at a specific time so you go through the course with a cohort and you know you have, you have assignments due each week and that kind of thing and then there's going to be others where they're just work through at your own pace so you have all kinds of options in here go and check them out uh, and of course free free is always nice all right, our next step is Kitchen Cooking School, offered by Kitchen. Uh, I will tell you, <laughs> the easiest way to remember this one is that there's no E, so it's K-I-T-C-H-N, Cooking School. Uh, you can just do a search for Kitchen that spelled that way, and this should come up. This is a free place to go. You can get cooking lessons. Uh, you can get receive 20, 20 lessons daily to help you on your journey. But as you scroll down, you can actually see some of the daily lessons. So there's your week one lessons right here. So day one, day two, day three. And it's basically teaching you cooking skills. So how to cook, how to become a cook who has mastered heat and oil. So understanding how to heat up your pans and heat up your oil uh, so that you're not, you know, scorching things or setting your house on fire accidentally, something like that. So it's a really cool and it's a useful way to learn. And it's a really cool way to put it so that you're not... Just like, I don't know how to hold this knife. Like, you can actually go, like, okay, here's how you can learn to hold a knife, but they present it in a nice, fun way. All right, so here we are. One of our almost last stops. This is homemade. Um, I will tell you that up here on the website, you can see that it's withhomemade.com. Uh, do that search, because if you just search for homemade, you're just going to get 85 definitions for the word homemade. Uh, so remember to search homemade, you sign up for free, and you can get interactive cooking classes. So they look just like this. It's videos and stuff where you're working with real people, learning how to do real things. Um, like in this case, it looks like they are scrambling eggs. So you're learning how to do it. And it's, it's basics, um, but they do live classes that you can join. You can go back and watch older interactive classes down here. You can see they have tons of free classes. Uh, super popular as fall is coming in. There's how to make apple cider donuts, uh, cranberry orange scones, which those look delicious. Uh, so you have all kinds of options in there. And then they have cooking clubs and lots of really help, really help, handy and helpful things. Mm -hmm. All right, our last stop is Masterclass. And some folks have probably heard of Masterclass. I'm picking this one, but I don't mean specifically just Masterclass. But there are a lot of services that are like this out here. So everything that I showed you up to this point is free to use, at least up to a point. So things like New York Times or BBC may eventually run into a paywall where they ask you to subscribe to their newspaper service, whatever, um, and it is a paid thing, but you can get access to lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of free stuff before you get there. Now with Masterclass and things like it, so there's Udemy, uh, there's America's Test Kitchen, there's a few others out there that are paid learning centers. Uh, so you can pay for a class or you pay monthly for however many classes you wanna take, something along those lines, um, where you can actually go and learn to cook and it's a, an experience kind of like that. So with Masterclass at least, uh, you're learning from the masters, hence the name. Uh, so you can see right here at the very top, you can learn how to cook. Um, from Gordon Ramsay, you can learn techniques from him as I scroll down. Uh, there's more folks in here. I was trying to get down to Wolfgang Puck, um, but there's lots of folks in here. A lot of these are going to be really well respected and in many cases famous uh, masters of the art of cooking. So there are options out there if you do have a little extra money and you want to do those sorts of things, that is a, an option as well. And with that, I'm kind of, I'm out of the resources today. I did tell you, um, where I did try to kind of mention what I have shown you today is just scratching the surface. This is uh, just a few of the resources that are out there, and I really encourage you to go and see what else is there. 
All right, so that was all of our super duper awesome resources. I hope that I encouraged you to go out there and find the cool things and learn how to cook, go bake a cake, uh, go make some eggs, go, go do something other than microwaving, you know, last night's pizza. Uh, you have all kinds of options out there. So we've got all the library resources. We had Universal Class and Gale Courses, which were both course-based resources, so you can work through um, either at your own pace or with a group. You also have option the option to go to Access Video On Demand and just do kind of somewhat more bite-sized videos at your leisure. Uh, we have books and ebooks through our physical collection and overdrive. It's going to be cookbooks, but also how to books. And then we have tons of e magazines through Flipster and Press Reader that can be extremely helpful. And then, in terms of just online resources, we've got YouTube, and that's a huge resource. Uh, just go and search to your heart's content. You'll find probably everything you need. Uh, there's the option of social media, so you've got primarily Pinterest, but also videos and things that you can find on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok is huge. There's lots of stuff on TikTok right now. Um, New York Times Cooking and BBC Food, and then go to Techniques. You can find all kinds of helpful stuff there. You've got Texas A&M Dinner Tonight, uh, and then go into their how-to area. Open Culture, which was where you can find all those massive online open courses or MOOCs, uh, and walk, work through either at your own pace or with a group. You have Kitchen, which is, remember, without the cooking school. Uh, homemade, so those are both going to be places where you can get uh, somewhat interactive cooking videos, tips, tricks, and that sort of thing. And then, of course, you have the paid online classes, which is the thing I kind of finished up with at the end. If you're willing to shell out a little bit of money, you might get to learn how to cook from Gordon Ramsay or folks like that. So that is the quick recap. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you're going to get out there and go bake a cake, like I said. Um, it's going to be messy. It happens. Cooking is not always a very clean art. Uh, you will definitely accidentally leave something out or bake something in. <laughs> I do know several people who have accidentally baked a spoon into their cake before. It's not that unusual, sadly. Um, if you did enjoy this video and you're looking for more adulting skills, uh, we have another video coming out called uh, Adulting Like a Boss Home Skills, where we're going to cover things like laundry, folding a fitted sheet, how to tie a tie, getting stains out of things, uh, just finding resources to help you walk through those, walk through those sorts of things and learn those kind of skills. And then, of course, we have tons and tons and tons of other videos that we have either already premiered or will be premiering soon. Uh, we do put a new video out every Tuesday at 2, every Wednesday at 1, and every Friday at 1, so we have quite a few videos for you to choose from at this point. Uh, if you would like to follow us or find any of our older videos or catch our premieres with us, we are on both Facebook and YouTube. On YouTube, we are MCPL Mo or MO. And then on Facebook, or yeah, on Facebook, we are MCPL360. So YouTube, MCPL Mo, Facebook, MCPL360. And we hope to see you there. And I hope that you have a fabulous week.